We are here today at the Crystal Bridges Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas. They are currently hosting the American Chronicle collection of Norman Rockwell. At this exhibit, we will speak with an original Norman Rockwell model, as well as his granddaughter. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, it's wonderful to share the Norman Rockwell Museum collection here at Crystal Bridges and bring this collection around the country. Uh, our museum is located in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, which is the town where Norman Rockwell lived for the last 25 years of his life. And our museum believes in the mandate to share this national treasure with our nation. And American Chronicles, as you can see, uh, has been sponsored by the Fidelity Foundation and an early grant from the National Endowment for the Arts. Well, this is a painting that I think most people don't think of when they think of my grandfather's work. They think of you know, sort of heartwarming scenes and stuff like that. Um, one reason I love this painting is because it shows how versatile he was and, and how his consciousness of American life was kind of much broader than a lot of people understand or imagine. So this is a picture of the three slain, or well, I guess one of them is slain here, two of them, of the civil rights workers during the, um, the civil rights movement. Um, and it, you know, this, these events, the, the turmoil at that time really had a strong impact on his consciousness and he um, did some very out of, seemingly out of character paintings, but I would argue that it's not out of character, it's just that he was always paying attention. This one, I think, it's very purposeful. I mean, it's not like he was the kind of guy that should have went in like Jackson Pollock or, I mean, he actually did make a Jackson Pollock painting once for, to put within his other painting, The Connoisseur, but he, he didn't just rush in passionately and paint and, you know, rush off and drink or something like, like a Picasso kind of person. So he consciously chose to make it look rough and raw to give us an idea of, of the turmoil to kind of convey that notion. So this is why it's my favorite painting. This is the first time the American Chronicle Norman Rockwell collection has been featured at Crystal Bridges Museum in Bentonville, Arkansas. And he was a neighbor and a friend of my parents and used many, many children who lived in the area. So I was one of dozens of kids who show up in a lot of these Saturday evening post covers and paintings of my era. He was a delightful, amusing, entertaining man and he would take photographs first and then work from the photographs and we would go back and sit for an hour one day and then we would go back the next week and sit for another hour so it was never too strenuous. There were always things to eat, snacks, things to entertain us. He always made sure that you didn't get too bored. But he was Sarah McCallion, Neighbor News.